We did uh, market research before releasing King's Quest VI just for the heck of it to see um, how well it would sell. And so we did some fun research where we asked people, um, would you drive 30 miles to get it if you had to? And it was almost 100% and it didn't drop below 92% until they had to drive over 70 miles to get their King's Quest. With uh, King's Quest Seven, we really wanted to put a new face on this product. Um, it, seventh in the series, it's always um, hard to, you know, to think how to make this bigger and better than the last one and, you know, to keep something like King's Quest alive and fresh and new. Um, I think we've always been very successful at that. Um, always keep the quality up, always keep the storyline up. We, um, it's, uh, one of the things that we're doing with King's Quest VII, we, we, we really went into this one, and this is going to be on CD, by the way, um, uh, pure CD, multimedia, all sound. Um, we went into it with the idea that this was going to be Disney-like. So the look is different than other King's Quests. It's, it's um, much more lighthearted. It's much more fanciful. The characters are all done with paper animation. So they're very free-form, free-moving, um, the uh, bigger, um, funnier, um, and uh, it's cinematic, a lot more cinematic scenes, camera movements. Um, so actors, you know, are real big these days. You know, a lot of, um, a lot of games now, you know, tout the fact that they have actors. King's Quest doesn't have that, and it shouldn't have that because it is, you know, a, a sort of a Disney-like experience. Um, but keeping that in mind, it is very beautiful and it is very cinematic um, and very in keeping with the time.